Hello guys, today I'll be teaching you how to make a multiplayer server. Um, you can use Hamachi or you can use your router, it does not matter. Um, although if you do want to create um, a server that has an open port, that means um, anyone can connect without the use of Hamachi, you're going to have to port forward. Um, I'm going to have to teach you that in a, another video because that's a, a bit too complicated for now. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright guys, now what you're going to have to do is get the following Bucket GUI and Hamachi You can simply get them by typing this in and um, just going on and clicking the download button I'm not going to do that because I've already got it but as you can see I'll, I'll link everything down in the description and what you want to do for Hamachi is tick this box and click unmanaged the download button right here and um, yeah Alright, so once you've got that um, you're gonna have to make a, f a new folder and um, just put in the bucket GUI inside and what it's gonna do is gonna just install some files just the plugins folder nothing too much and this is very very important make sure that you have the right version set um, when I first got this it was set at like this one I think and it didn't work it just kept giving me errors so it's just like a try and error thing, you just have to keep guessing until you get the right one. So um, right after that, um, if you have uh, 64, you can dedicate more RAM or less RAM, uh, whatever you prefer. Um, we also have plugins here, uh, you can you know play around with it later. For now we're just gonna start the server, that's all you have to do, just click the start button. Right. Um, and if you get these warnings and things like that, just don't worry, they, they're fine most of the time yeah so now it says uh, you need to agree to this so you go back to um, the folder that you made and double click on the text file and instead of false rename it to uh, true save it and then go back to the GUI and click start again we're just gonna have to wait a bit for it to load alright so as you can see there's a lot more going on right now and uh, it's preparing spawn, so basically it's loading in the map, generating a random world. Uh, I'm gonna let that do its thing. Um, so now this is where Hamachi comes in, it's very important. Um, when you download Hamachi, just click this button right here and you should like synchronize. Also you have to sign in, sign up I mean, it's, it's compulsory so you can make an account. And what you want to do right after is create um, a network. This, what it does is just gives you a private network so you can play with your friends. Okay, I'm just gonna rename this to like anything and put a password on it. There you go. Alright, so now that we have this, we're gonna have to copy the IPv4 address. You do this by clicking the left mouse button on your uh, IP right here. And uh, what you wanna do is you go find the IP which is here and you simply just paste. Uh, what you now want to do is give yourself an appropriate um, server port. What this does is uh, it lets you like uh, yeah, just add like a server port. It just gives like a number to at the end of the I, uh, this IP. So it should be like this, and then the server port. And now you just want to click save and um, rerun the server. Actually, don't do that. Just click restart. Okay, should reload everything. It's taking a bit of time. I'm just going to uh, end the video and go to Minecraft. Um, so you might have seen the error that I had earlier on. This was because of my server port. So I'm, I had two, I have two servers, which is the video server and the bucket server, my original server. So if we go to the notepad, you can see the IP port is 27016. And um, on the video server, if you have more than two, make sure you don't make the same mistake that I did of um, having the same IP ports so now instead of 6 I changed it to 5 I'll move this to my other desktop okay so now what we're gonna do is uh, run Minecraft which is already on now we're just gonna click on multiplayer we're gonna tab out a bit oh second guys okay so what you guys wanna do now is go on Hamachi and make sure you already have a server set up this is important so uh, that your friends uh, can connect as well. You just give them this by going on join. You type in this and then the password if you made a password and then yeah, they can join. They also need how much of course. Okay, so oh, 
let me go back in okay so now they will also need this IP the IPv4 address that we had you copy that and you go into Minecraft add the server paste the IP and now this is what the port is used for 2705 done <laughs> sorry guys my mistake um, I forgot to run the server okay so once you run the server you just uh, do everything I told you to do and you join the server which will um, allow you to log in and yeah there you go yeah uh, it works um, one thing that you might need to do if you have uh, cracked cracked is uh, when you don't uh, buy the game you're gonna have to get out of the server click no go back into the server and click on the server uh, notepad also if this is not a notepad for you just find the server folder and open with notepad it's pretty simple okay so let's go back to the main point now if you have cracked it's really important that you uh, change this to false what this does it just turns off online mode meaning premium mode it, or it basically means premium mode so when you click false and save, what did I say that? Uh, okay, yeah. And you rerun the server. Um, your friends or you yourself can now play on a cracked server. Basically, you don't require premium to play on a Minecraft server. Also, guys, I forgot to mention that once you log in, um, the GUI is really uh, good because you can quickly op. Uh, the op, as you can see in the console, just the ops and ops. Uh, kick, ban, give them a game mode, and just give them an item basically. For example, I can kick and then let's go back. Kicked by an operator. Yeah. So it's really useful because you can manage everything on this uh, GUI. Uh, there's some errors, but I don't think they're too important. You have a task manager, don't really know what that is. Um, a bunch of uh, pre-installed plugins well they're not pre-installed you can install them but they're pre-loaded I guess and um, yeah you don't actually have to go to the server um, text file I just discovered that you can change everything through here which is very convenient you can always make a backup and um, some more options I guess um, so yeah um, anyways oh also I forgot to tell you um, if you turn on um, turn off um, premium mode which is also known as online mode you lose uh, your skin if you have premium that's because um, you're being taken as a non uh, premium user therefore you won't have a skin preloaded so yeah uh, pretty interesting video today it was a quick tutorial if you guys enjoyed it please uh, leave a like and a comment thank you guys